Oh, is he on? He is on. Stay on, baby, stay on. <laughs> you cast it. He's on there. That's a good one, though. And then I got stuck. Oh, no, I got one. Oh, that's a good one, too. Yeah. Stay on there. Oh, yeah. Feels oh, like it. Boy. Swimming. Oh yeah. Yeah. Good one. Oh dang. Oh. He's on. Oh. <laughs> he made it happen. What is up everyone? It's your boy Eddie here back with another video. I hope you guys are having a great day. I'm excited for today's video. It is more of a challenge as you guys can tell by the title. So me and my brother-in-law are out here at the river we got about an hour and a half to two hours to fish it's late afternoon and we are going to do a small rod challenge so let me go show you uh i know a lot of you have already seen these little bitty rods the dock demons um a lot of people have done challenges on these me and my brother-in-law have always been com competitive towards each other so today we're going to do a little challenge on the rod and uh, I'll explain that to you guys here a little bit later on how we're going to do it and what the challenge is going to be. So you guys stay tuned. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Smash that like button. Let's get this channel to a thousand and keep it going from there, guys. Let's get started. You guys enjoy the video. All right, guys. So this is going to be the challenge. Both me and my brother-in-law are going to both start off throwing with the regular rods. Uh, we're both going to start off with a Texas rig. And the first one that catches one, the other person has to start using this rod until they catch one with this rod. Then they can go back to their normal rod, if that makes sense. And we're just going to go like that, back and forth. So we're going to play it like that, and we're going to see if we can get into some good fish. Hopefully, it'd be pretty cool to get some, some uh, good footage with, the, with this little rod. So, and let's see what happens. There's, oh, I just got bit. There you go too. That felt more like a bass bite there. That was like a heavier bite. Oh, he took my lizard. <laughs> I felt him. That jugger took it. Man, I know there's a bass in there. But I know if I throw it in there, it's going to get stuck. <laughs> I ain't even going to risk it. I go around it though. I'll risk it. This is where I saw them bass cruising the other day. They look like some old beds on that hump. Mm. Missed them? Mm -hmm. That's shallow. You can, I can see the the ground from there too with the glasses. Well, what that was. <laughs> oh man. He ain't in the boat yet. He ain't in the boat yet. Come on off, little guy. Dang it. And then I got stuck. Oh no, I got one. Oh, that's a good one too. Yeah. Stay on there. Oh, did it come off? Yeah. Dang it. Yeah, he came off. I can see my hook. That was a that was a decent one. Yeah. Dang. Oh, it was bigger than yours. <laughs> Dang, right at the same time too. I saw him. He was stuck. Dang. I saw his belly. Yeah, he was. I saw his whole body. That was like a timing thing. Like we're as soon as you hooked up, I hooked up to that other one. That I turned cool. around to look at you, and then I felt him hit. All right, guys. So I got to put my rod down and grab the little rod, and uh, until I catch one with it. I didn't really get to show you guys his fish because I hooked up into a good one myself. It was a five pounder. Yeah, it was about an eight and a half. I think I'm gonna go with the lizard. I mean, that's what they're biting. I had a little worm on here. I'm gonna put a little lizard on there though. I don't know how to put the drag on. I think it's stuck. We have to use it as is. I think it's gonna be the hook set that's gonna be hard. You only got, about three, feet. You only got about three feet on Oh the man, it's the, the hang time on it was like 10 seconds and it landed in front of me. All right, guys, this is a gear ratio 7, 3 to 1. Nah. <laughs> you can really crank them in with this one. 
Try to pitch. Pitch and flip. That's the key. Lost everything. Glasses, rod, bait. Ooh, right where I wanted it though. Bubbles. Whenever you see bubbles, that means fish. Holy smokes. Or a tree. That was something in there, wasn't it? Yeah, it's probably a big old catfish. Or it might be a gator. I can see bubbles following behind it. Nah, I ain't no alligator. Yeah. No, no, let's not say that. Shoot. I ain't trying to get ate by no gator on a Friday. Ah. You probably need to put a smaller hook on that mud. Yeah, so, oh. oh, I saw that. I almost caught it. He hit it twice, yep. too. I saw the second hit. When you said, ooh, I looked down, he, he had smashed it again. I don't think that was a bluegill there. No, that wasn't a bluegill. Because I saw the, the thump. Oh, oh, there's one. Oh, he had it again. Because you can throw it in there. Broke you off? <laughs> Broke me off, brother. I think I'm going to try a smaller bait, too. I'm gonna try one of those small crawls. Yeah, I'm about to roll up my jeans. Cause it is getting. He just, <laughs> he just trying to show a little leg off in camera, guys. Don't pay no attention to him. I'm gonna make some jorts out of these shorts. Trying to be a model on camera. <laughs> Hank. <laughs> oh yeah. You guys don't pay no mind. He ain't got no leg muscles. <laughs> <laughs> Back in my prime. <laughs> <laughs> lose circulation, but. <laughs> <laughs> but I got some fresh air running through, huh? There you go. Okay. I'm getting it now. I'm getting it now. Who needs a seventy dollar ride? Yeah. Combo. Go with the old Doc Demon. <laughs> Doc demon off the boat. Yeah. Call it a boat demon. Sure. <laughs> I ain't I ain't playing with them no more. You have to stop. Oh, them. there's one too. Oh, is he on? He is on. Stay on, baby, stay on. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Woo! I couldn't keep up with him. I, I was like, is he on? Is he on? Woo! That boy, Eddie boy, ain't playing. There you guys have it. The Doc Demon Strikes. Woo! I finally got myself out of a hole here. We're gonna get a release like it's a five pounder on there. There he goes. And I'll tell you what, that's, that's harder than it looks. It really is. Even after you hook him, like I was struggling to keep up. Well, he was running towards me, but I was, I was struggling. I couldn't tell if he was on or not. Oh wow, it feels funny going back to this rod for real. This rod feels huge. <laughs> I, feel, I feel like I'm holding a freaking giant rod. Like a 10 foot rod or something. Oh, I got bit. For real? Yeah. Let's get out of this spot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember where I got this worm, but I've never used it. I saw it and I was like, I'm going to try it. <laughs> yeah, it looks kind of weird, but it looks like I like the colors on it. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you got to work it, man. See, you jigging it. Okay, okay. It's all in the movement. There's one. That no That's a crappie. Crappie. That's a good one, too. Ooh, that's a slab. My live well wasn't full of stuff. I'll take him home. Make a sandwich out of you, buddy. Look at that crappie, guys. I ain't got nowhere to put them. My live well's full of freaking trash. You can see the edge where it drops. When you cast it, you say, He's on there. That's a good one, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's on my hook. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to steal my fish. Yeah, that's a good one. Oh. Yeah, that is a good one. Oh, I had him hooked just like he wanted to hook him. Right through the top of the lip. Oh, he's on my hook. Yeah, that's a good one. 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 Yeah, that's a good one.
he had me wrapped in that tree. I but wouldn't I could, have been able to get him out. Yeah, you wouldn't have. You probably would have been struggling even just to if you had him in open water. That's a solid fish there, guys. Solid fish. All right. All right. Time isn't on your side today, brother. Huh? Time isn't on your side today. No mas, amigo. <laughs> Checking the little one. <laughs> oh yeah. Feels oh, like it. Boy. Swimming. Yep. Oh yeah. Yeah. Good one. Come on, lip him. Oh, that's a long fish, but he, heck yeah. It's longer than the other one, but the other one was more meaty. That is a solid fish, though. Yep. Solid, solid fish. That's why I didn't throw it right there, because I didn't want to catch it. I wasn't going to be able to reel him in with this right That's probably, a, that would probably be like a three and a half, four if it had a, oh, yeah, if, if, it had a, a big old belly. if it had a tummy on there. Man. It's a good fish, though, guys. It's two good fish today. Here you go, mama. Bam! He was right between those two. See that? Got him? Oh, dang. Oh! He's on. Oh. <laughs> he made it happen. <laughs> And we were, we were almost done too. Made it happen. <laughs> oh, Ooh, that felt good. Last minute. Last minute catch. Hey, we both caught one on the small one. Uh, that's a tie. <sighs> e even tie. I guess we can stop right there, huh? <laughs> yeah. To be continued. We tie breaker. For real, that would be. Yep. That would be. Do it. We'll call it right there and we'll do the tiebreaker. Well, you guys just saw the crazy ending to this video. My brother-in-law came in clutch with the last minute catch. I mean, it was like literally one of the last casts. We were about to head out and he hooked into it and tied it. So now we are at the tiebreaker. I'm going to show you guys how close it was. We were leaving. The sun is literally over the hills, about to go under. It's about 8 o'clock already at night. Oh man, I thought I had them. I really did. So there's going to be a part two to this, the tiebreaker. You guys stay tuned for that. It's going to be a great video. Don't forget to smash that like button. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Do all that good stuff. And most importantly, don't forget to keep it real. It's your boy Eddie, and I'm out. Peace.